Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create this Coca-Cola bottle. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you very much for 100 subscribers. Woohoo! We hit 100 subs about a week ago. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. And let's keep on growing. All right, so let's get started with this video now. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab an image from Google of this Coke bottle. And then we're going to go ahead and create our new layer and call it stroke. And we already have that created. So once we have that created, go ahead and hit M on your keyboard for the circle tool. And you just create this our circle like so, like about that size, you know, as big as the Coke bottle. It doesn't have to be exact, just roughly around that size. And now hit P on your keyboard for the pen tool. And then go ahead and go to the very left uh, side of the circle that you created. And we're going to go ahead and make a rectangle. So we can go ahead and go like this. And then just create a rectangle. And make sure it's not too... Uh, see how it's like this line is very close to that bottom of the oval? Let's bring that down a little bit more. Because if we have it like that, what's going to happen is that it's just going to uh, become all wonky. It's going to become weird when, when we go ahead and do our uh, next step. And so now once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and just finish off your rectangle like so. And straighten this out a little bit. And then what we're going to do after that is go ahead and uh, make sure your rectangle is in on, in your stroke layer. And then what, what we're going to do after that is go ahead and put our ellipse uh, object circle on top of the rectangle that we created. And then go to your circle and then hit Control J on your keyboard. Uh, to duplicate that circle and now we're going to do is grab the original copy of the circle and the rectangle together hold shift to select both of them and then we can go ahead and go to subtract bam subtract just like that and what that does is just gets rid of that line in the middle of your uh, circle that we had right here and then once we got that done we're going to go ahead and hit a on our keyboard and then just go to the middle of the rectangle and you'll see this green line. So once you see that green line, that means you're in the middle of that rectangle. And hold shift. And then just drag down like so. Like this little bit. A shabam. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and bring these guys up a little bit as well. So just select both these nodes. And then you can go ahead and hold shift and hit up on our arrow keys a few times to just shorten that up a little bit. And now once we have that, uh, we have our bottle looking, you know, our bottle is starting to come together, our can, I mean. So now let's go ahead and just uh, go to your first circle and duplicate it again. So Control J as again. And now what we're going to do is just, <clears throat> it's going to go ahead and make it smaller. So in order to do that from the center, it just holds Control and Shift and it'll drag it down from the center. And then we're just going to go ahead and make these a little bit shorter as well, like so. Okay. And then we can go ahead and bring this guy a little bit. And just about that size is good enough. That's pretty good to me. And then now what we're going to do is go ahead and create the actual can itself. So the body of the can. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and just go to a hit our grab our pen tool again. And we're just going to go ahead. As, as you can see, the shape of the can kind of goes like diagonal and then straight down. So we're going to go ahead and do that same thing. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to go ahead and go straight down as well and then we're going to go to the middle of our can like so and then go back to this point and then bring it to the center as well why are we doing this because we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is just turn it around and then merge it together so we're going to go ahead and hit Control j on that thing you just created and turn it around flip it over and then drag drag it to the other edge of the can like so and then just grab both of these guys. So hold shift and select the other half of the Coke can. And then go up here and hit add. And now it just merges it all into one piece. See, now it's a whole object itself, which is pretty nice. Not going to lie. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and just grab the bottom of the, of the can. Or go to the bottom and make sure you're in the middle, in the center of the uh, main can shape like that. <clears throat> and now we're going to do is just hold shift and drag down as well like that like so and see now we got that nice little curve on the bottom alrighty <clears throat> okay so now what we're gonna do is go into our layers panel and then we're gonna go ahead and put all these circles ellipses on top of our main can shape like so drag it above it we're gonna go ahead and go to our original ellipse right here this outer ellipse and duplicate that guy grab the original copy and then grab the main body of your can and we're gonna go ahead and subtract it as well 
and that'll just go ahead and cut to that excess pieces off now you can't see that uh, excess piece of this main body on top and now what we're going to do is do the same process but with the rectangle of <clears throat> this bottom part that we created of the lid so just duplicate your rectangle and then grab the original and then grab your hold shift and select the main can body again and hit subtract and now it just gets rid of all these excess lines and you can get rid of all these little guys right here like that boom and now it just it's a nice clean clean can okay now you got nice clean lines that's what we're going for and now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab select your circle tool again we're going to create this circle as wide as that bottom piece of our can as you can see right here all right so we're just going to go ahead and do that and just bring this guy like so in the center of the can and we're just going to make it a little bit smaller and a little bit higher like that and now once we got that done we're going to go ahead and make sure that ellipse is underneath your main body shape of the can in your layers panel and then go ahead and go back to your main can and then duplicate that object and then on the, <clears throat> the original copy again just select it and then select the ellipse that you created and then just go back up here and hit subtract and again it just cleans up our lines and you have a nice crisp uh, just nice clean lines and you don't have to get rid of the overlapping okay and then now what we're going to do is go ahead and select this inner part of our circle right here on the top of the can and we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit thinner so it's not so thick so we got to have some variety in our strokes in our strokes okay and then now that looks a lot better so now what we're going to do is go ahead and hit P on your keyboard and now we're just going to create this little line right here as you can see the crease of the can we're going to go ahead and do that so just make sure you hit <clears throat> uh, go on the left side of your main can and just click right there and then go on the other side and hold shift to get a straight line and click on the other side and then now we're going to hit A on the keyboard and go into the center of the line and drag it down like that like that and now you got that nice little crease of the can okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this line up a little bit to give it some shape. So what we're going to do, and if you hear a noise in the background, I'm sorry, that's my dog. He's playing with a water bottle. Um, he was being quiet, but now he decided to not be quiet. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a, we're going to go ahead and cut this piece shape up a little bit. So add a point in the center of it and then add another point uh, a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. And then on that center point, Let's go ahead and select it and then you're going to go to the action bar up here on top and we're going to hit break curve and that'll allow us to uh, that'll just break the curve and from that center point that we had selected and so go back to that dot go back to that node and just hit delete and now you can break your line from that part and I have two separate lines okay so now what we're going to do is you can go ahead and go uh, select one of the select the left the left line that we created, I mean the right line that we created, and then go to our pressure property in our for our strokes, and then uh, if you want to learn how to how to create how to vary your line width in a, in Affinity Designer, I have another video. I have a video on that how to create thin strokes and stuff. So I'll link that that video down in the description and in the comment, and, or you could just click on the info cards. Okay, go check it out if you haven't already. But now you can go ahead and just thin this guy out from uh, the left side not the right all right like that and just, we're gonna hit save profile and then go to this guy right here and then we're gonna do the same thing but except on the right side all right like so so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and select our main uh, can and to grab these two bottom nodes hold shift and select both of these and then we're gonna go ahead and select these guys as well so hold, keep holding shift select all four of these guys hit C on the keyboard for the corner tool and now just go ahead and just drag one of the corners a little bit and it's just gonna round off the corners a tiny bit and make them a little bit softer and not so harsh and now we don't need that main part of the coke bottle anymore and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and make this bottom part a little bit thinner so by in order to do that we're just gonna go ahead and just drag this guy down like so and then we're gonna go ahead and select our main can and we're gonna make this top part thin as well so the lines aren't as thick and we're gonna just drag it uh, create a node in the middle and then drag the edge edges like so and that'll kind of help thin out that bottom piece right there. 
And now we're going to go ahead and add one more node on the right hand side and drag it up a little bit to make our right side a little bit thicker, like right here. And then now we're going to do is go ahead and go select our circle and our main circle and just drag it out and make it a little bit thinner as well, like so. That way these these edges right here on the bot on the can match up. Okay. Okay. Now that we have that, <clears throat> we can go ahead and select this uh, circle right here, duplicate it, and we're just gonna go ahead and just make it like this. And we're gonna drag it down, and we're gonna go ahead and just make it thin. This will be the little opening of the can, so we're just gonna end up coloring it, filling it in uh, like a black color pretty much anyway, so it doesn't really matter what size the th uh, stroke is on this guy. <clears throat> now that we have all our strokes finished, what we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, grab your whole layer and duplicate it, so Control J, and we're going to go ahead and lock the top layer, so in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and hit this little icon right here, it says lock unlock, that way we don't accidentally move our strokes, and what we're going to do is, on the second layer, we're going to go ahead and rename it to color. That's where we're going to put our color in. And now what we're going to do after that is get rid of all of these little excess lines that we don't need. So all those detailed lines that we don't need, we just go ahead and get rid of them. And so now what we're going to do is go ahead and go to your main shape. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of the stroke. And then we're going to go ahead and color it red like that. Oh, boom. Look at that. Nice. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the can right here. And then just get rid of the, again, same process, get rid of the stroke. And we're going to go ahead and make it a gray. We're going to go ahead and make it a little bit lighter, like that. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing on the top of the cans. Just get rid of the stroke and color it in gray, like so. This guy is actually going to be lighter, like that. And then go to your lips and just repeat the same process. Okay, so now we have the top part of the can all colored. We're going to go ahead and color this little hole right here to a darker, to black. So now that we have that colored in, filled in, now what we're going to do is go ahead and do our logo of the can, of the Coca-Cola logo, okay? So I have this SVG file already created, and I actually made this one myself. I had <clears throat> spent some time uh, tracing over the Coca-Cola logo, you know, with the pen tool. I'll go ahead and, and uh, put this, put a PNG, uh, a transparent PNG, you know, down in the description as well that you guys could use it. Or I'll try to f figure out a way to also embed, like insert the SVG file as well that you guys could have the Coca-Cola logo for your own projects or just for whatever, you know, and you could play around with it. Uh, it took me a while to make and it was kind of tedious, but that's why I, I created it and I'm going to share it with you guys. Anyways, so now that we have that logo, we'll just go ahead and add it right there. So now what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and we have all our colors. We're going to go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to go ahead and call it highlights. And now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and just uh, hit P on our keyboard. All right. And then just we're going to go ahead and for our pen tool and we're just going to go ahead and create one line like this, a straight line down like like so. And then we're going to go ahead and make it white. We're going to go ahead and do a 15 point stroke. And then we're just going to bump this guy all the way up like so. And then we're just going to drag the left, the right side downward to the very, almost the very bottom like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this highlight right here, duplicate it and just drag it down like so and we're going to shorten it up and you're just going to turn it around like that and then we're just going to go ahead and add another point right here and then just create like this and then just drag this side a little bit more like this so now we're going to go ahead and lower the opacity on these guys a little bit not too much you know just like that just kind of give it a little transparency but also I still have some highlight to it. We're going to go ahead and create another highlight right here on, on the actual can itself. So we're just going to go ahead and just, you know, pen tool again. And then select, put a point right here. And another point like this. And just, we're going to go ahead and curve it like so. And then we're just going to make it th a lot thinner. So it fits, it's a, it fits nice and easy onto our can. Shabam! Just like that. Okay. And then... I'm just going to drag this a little bit more, like this. Just fix it up, and then we're just going to go ahead and 100% opacity, and all the way white. Like that. Chaboom! Look at that! 
easy highlights. All right, that's pretty nice, pretty nice, not gonna lie. So now that we have that, we got a nice little highlight. And then what we're gonna do now is just add, we're gonna add another highlight right here on top of the, on the, on the top of the can, underneath the lip. And we're just gonna go like this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and make one side bigger than the other, like so. And I just lower this left side a bit more. And we'll just curve this like that. And then we're going to go ahead and just do about 50% opacity. It's not too strong of a highlight. And now we're going to go ahead and add the uh, shadows. So we'll just go ahead and make a new layer and call it shadow. And after we have that, we're going to go ahead and hit our pen tool again. And then just select this part of the can like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and create like, we're going to go ahead and follow the path of our lip and our main base shape of the can like so and we're gonna go all the way down here and just create a little path all the way to right there and then just go back to this guy right here connect it and then just get rid of the stroke and then we're gonna go ahead and hit red and then we're gonna go ahead on our light on our HSL sliders we're gonna go ahead on the lightness we're gonna go ahead and make it really a really dark red and then we're just gonna dry this guy like this boom look at that easy easy peasy easy easy shadow and then just make sure everything is nice and lined up all right <clears throat> so now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and just create uh we're gonna go ahead and lower the opacity to about 50 percent as well like that and just look at that that looks so good already okay and so now we're just gonna go ahead and just do that same process for the bottom part of the can like the like here so just you know the same process and then close it off and then we're just gonna go ahead and just do that and boom look at that and just curve it inward and then again just lower it about a little bit darker on the top part because it's you know it's on the bottom so it's a little bit darker and then now we're going to do the same thing for this uh the the main lipper here okay so just again pen tool and then we're just going to do the whole thing actually we're going to do the whole thing and just like that and curve it inward and boom and then just do that shabam and then we're gonna go ahead and not as dark, so about uh, I'd say about a thirty percent opacity like that. Just give it a little bit of shadow because it's gonna be closer to the light. And look at that nice look, nice, awesome, awesome possum. And now we're gonna go ahead and just hit P on the keyboard. And now we're just gonna go ahead and create a stroke like this, and then just curve it like so. And then we'll go ahead and make it that same dark color as our shadows. And then we're gonna go ahead and do uh, about you know about 25 percent opacity and just give it a nice little extra extra shadow like that and then we're going to do the same thing add in a shadow down here with that same same opacity like so and then we're going to add another shadow up here so we're going to go ahead and go to our our shadow layer and just add another shadow like so like this we're just going to add a straight shadow like that and then go ahead and go to your pressure and then we're just gonna go ahead and add a node in the middle and make this parabola like that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and darken this shadow, that, that up a little bit and about halfway opacity. And then we're gonna put this main shadow above this guy in our layers panel. And boom, look at that. You have a nice Coca-Cola can. And that's how you make an easy, simple Coca-Cola can. Look how good it looks, how crisp. It looks and look at this logo. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm proud of this one. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.